All right, just got home. Maybe it's a good time for me to find out if anything happened in the Kenosha trial today with Kyle Rittenhouse. Let me take a look here. You know, we have, um, yeah, okay, Kyle Rittenhouse takes the stand. Kyle Rittenhouse breaks down under questioning. Thomas Claire Binger pushes judge too far. Judge threatens to kill him. Prosecution files a motion to have the case thrown out. What? Whoa! I missed a whole bunch today. Now we're going to talk about one of them. Kyle Rittenhouse breaking down under questioning. Everybody's getting on social media. Oh, they're so fake, those tears. He's not even crying. Yeah, okay. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Okay, we're going to go ahead and watch it. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's wearing dark sunglasses. Probably going to have to cover up the tears. Eh, hey, you're wrong about that. I'm Scottish. We don't show a whole lot of emotion over anything. It, it's probably a result of having to live in a very cold country, high up in the mountains with really crappy food to eat. It just makes you mentally tough. So, no, I'm not going to be crying over this. Um, however, I can understand why a lot of people really struggle to get through this. Uh, this is emotional. This is heart-wrenching. And uh, we're going to have to watch it. But what we're going to do most importantly is we're going to analyze this. What's actually happening to him? And all you left us out there with your sociology degrees and your psychology degrees completely misanalyzed this. You really don't understand human nature as well as you think you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this. I, once I take that step back, I look over my shoulder and Mr. Rosenbaum. He's starting to feel it. He knows what's coming on. But he wasn't expecting this. Watch. Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side. Um, and I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski. Okay, now he knows it's coming on. I mean, he did not practice this. Uh, in fact, the defense would not have wanted him to do this. It's too risky. If people feel that you are faking it, it could work against you. Then he didn't need to. What he wanted to do was to come across as composed, polite, steady. And this is kind of undermining that. Okay. So, fake? No, this is real. And there were... Yeah, he's starting to feel it now and he's not quite sure what to do. Okay, you think it's fake? Really? Okay. That's a hell of a performance then. People right there. People say, oh, what he had to do was to think of some sad event in his life. Oh, come on, give me a break. He would have to have seen his dog strangled in front of his eyes to come up with the imagery to produce this kind of effect. Okay, at this point, he's trying to gather it in. He's a little embarrassed. And he's going to try to hold in, hang tough, gather this thing in, see if you can get through this line of questioning. That's right, run. <laughs> Does it work? If anything, it made it worse. <laughs> Looks to the judge. Help me out here. He doesn't know what to do. Just take time for our break anyway. You, you can uh, just relax for a minute, sir. Um, we're going to take a break, uh, about uh, 10 minutes, and please don't talk about the case during the break. Wa read, watch, or listen to any kind of trial. The judge handles it very well. Uh, look at Wendy. Okay, so what did we see here? I know what most people were thinking. Uh, he's trying to tell everybody how remorseful he is. He's trying to show them 
how terrible he feels about what happened. That's not it. This is called a panic attack. I've seen it many times. I've had it happen to students, and I've had it happen to a co-worker who undergoes this once in a while. And this is classic. It runs just like this. Everything he's doing is classic panic attack. And all you leftists out there who are going out there, oh, this is just fake crying. All you have to do is just think of some sad moment in your life. This is coached. This is drama, theater. Give me a break. This dude, Eli Wallach, couldn't have pulled this thing off. Eli Wallach is the greatest actor I think I've ever seen on a motion picture screen. And this is from The Good and the Bad and the Ugly. Oh my God, the performance of this guy is incredible. And he couldn't have pulled this thing off. So, yeah, you have your sociology degree and you have your psychology degree and you go around telling everybody about empathy and sympathy and how we have to understand people. Yeah, but then you watch this and you think, oh, it's so fake. He's not even crying. Yeah, panic attacks don't necessarily bring tears. And in fact, very few of the ones that I've seen actually do. Now, why is he doing this? He has been told to be quiet about this event, these traumatic events, for a long time. By the way, I should thank B Radio for this explanation. I'm stealing his, but it absolutely makes sense. So he has been told, be quiet, bottle this thing up, um, and he's been attacked. He's been called every kind of name you can imagine. He's been deplatformed. He's been threatened. And he's facing a life sentence. And now he finally gets an opportunity to get on the stand and tell his story, and it was just too much. That freedom to finally be able to say what he's been wanting to say was a little too tough to overcome for him. Who in here really thinks that at 18 years of age, facing a life sentence, that you would have done any better? Oh, yes, I've had plenty of examples where I faced, give me a break. Not a single one of you has undergone what this kid's gone through. Emotionally? No, I don't give a damn what you've been through. Well, I served two tours. Yeah, but you haven't gone through what this kid's gone through. He's facing a life sentence. And he's been villainized by half the country. You weren't. Even though you served two tours, you weren't villainized by half this country. Were you deplatformed? Did people try to choke you out financially? How many bad stories have been written about you? So I don't want to hear it. At any rate... Is this genuine? Yeah, this is a real panic attack. I've seen many of them, and there is no chance in hell that this is fake. Like my video, subscribe to my channel.